What's up, YouTube? I'm here for another quick little Blu-ray DVD hunt for you guys today. I'm with my friend Shaka. He's about to pick up the Spider-Man set that comes with the Pint Size Heroes this lab. Mm -hmm. It's a dope set. And I just want to show you guys like the different cover arts for the Spider-Man movies they have over here at Walmart. Definitely some dope cover art. And they all go together. Even though they're different series. Even though they're different series. The different Spider-Man. Spider-Man 1. Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 3. A lot of people hated this. But it's still better than Amazing Spider-Man 1. And it's also better than Amazing Spider-Man Part 2. But either way, they're all okay, I guess, in some way. Shape Growing up, Eddie Murphy meant a lot to me. Eddie Murphy was one of the funniest people on movies. But I think oh, we no. all can agree when we ask, what the fuck is this, Eddie Murphy? Cause I've seen the trailer for I've this seen the trailer for this too. It made me want to throw up. Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Murphy, what are you doing? You do not do Has anyone roles. seen this movie? Please let me know in the comments below because I would like to know what you think about this bullshit. Eddie Murphy, you never do serious roles. You can never win like that, Eddie Murphy. You're not Jim Carrey on the number 23 because he killed that role. Bruh. He was perfect. Eddie Murphy, you've done too many clumps. Eddie Murphy, don't ever do any interracial fucking love stories. I will beat your ass. I think this is not even a love story. I don't know what it is, but it's He's just like gross, a man. Eddie Murphy nanny. Like, I don't have time for You know that. what I haven't seen yet that I've been meaning to watch? Is The Shallows. I have not seen this yet. And I haven't even seen St. Cloverfield Lane. I'm way behind on my movies right now. Oh, don't is fucking it? judge me. Oh, is this the second part of Cloverfield? Yeah, bro. Oh. And I love Cloverfield. That's one of my favorite found footage movies. You know what I also haven't seen that people are going to fucking slap me for? I haven't even fucking seen Creed yet, bro. I haven't seen Creed either, but I'm... Maybe sure. today. Just not on DVD, but I might have to buy that Blu-ray. Let's go look at the other Blu-ray. Monster Calls is a movie that both of us definitely need to see. The starring Liam Nielsen is Groot. <laughs> and that, let me see that again. I'm telling you, he's just a straight that up group. It's a fucking giant hey, Marvel. <laughs> Y'all need to holler at these people because they, really to they clearly took took group and put them in a fucking horror movie. Or I don't even know don't what even you know would call that movie. movie. It's like inspirational or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, I need to get that shit together, bro. It's like lately I've been slipping on my movies. I've been like only watching superhero movies, basically, and shit like that. They keep I've been slipping on, on all my good movie. movies. Fuck trolls. I didn't see it. Don't want to. I, I hated trolls growing up and I hate trolls now. Wait, why would you turn that into a movie, you bastard? Why would you have fucking Matt Damon fucking defend the Great Wall of China with <laughs> other Chinese people? Wait, those are oh white God. people. Like, what the hell is wrong? Come on, this? bro. Just put Ip Man in the middle of that shit like y'all wanted to for every other film. Man, Bruh. why is Ip Man their go-to for everything? Like, we gotta watch Split too, man. I'm telling you, there's a fucking thousand good movies that came out recently that we what need to watch. Slight, man? We gotta get out of that Yeah, shit. is Slight out? I don't even know. I don't think Slight's out yet, or I saw buy it right now. It's not out on DVD, bro. But isn't it out in the movies? That has been out in the movies. It's already out of movies by now. I don't want to see La La Land, haven't seen it, don't want to see it. God, I feel like I'm in a fucking alien world now. I usually could tell you about every single movie that's out, but I have not watched movies a lot lately. I still haven't seen this Fantastic Beast. Me either. I was just like, fuck it. I mean, I'm not saying it's not good, but I was just like, fuck it, basically. Oh, Get bro. Out was really good. And this is like a weird section. There's like a mix between. There's all type of shit. They even got the Wild Thornberries complete series right Man, here. I still haven't seen Peach Dragon. Peach Dragon was good. Nowhere near as good as the classic. But I mean, for what it was worth, it was good. When it was over, I thought like, oh, I thought this was the middle of the movie, but it was just over. So I was like, what the fuck? But it was still a good movie. Oh, brother, Look at this complete series of Wild Thornberries. I hate this cartoon. Growing up, it ruins me. Bro, they got like a My most hated cartoon of the 90s, early 2000s. They got a revamped version of Pinocchio. No, that's the original Pinocchio. It's just a um, new slipcover. 
Okay, but even, oh, even the way they got every shit drawn makes me feel like... No, nah, it's the original one. They just got, like, maybe they added more color to it or some shit like that. Yeah, you know but it's the do. same movie. How do you guys feel about Avatar? When Avatar came out, it was dope, but now they're like, the, new, the sequels are about to come out. And I'm like, man, I stopped caring about that shit they like 10 years ago. Bruh. How the fuck <laughs> They got you like do five that? sequels of Avatar coming out, and it's like, bruh, people stopped giving a fuck. Like at least 10, 11 years ago. Man, what is this shit? That's the fucking Beauty France the version <laughs> of Beauty and the Beast. He's a fucking and I haven't seen head. all those good movies I mentioned, but I had have seen a piece of this and it's really fucking like it's just gross. What about the Denzel Washington faces? I heard Fences. this is probably a dope ass. I movie. heard it was good, but it's an Academy just, Award winner. It's just not my cup of tea. It was for Viola Davis. And I'm also white, so yeah. It just probably went to piss me. Ooh, One Piece. That's a movie? It's like all of them. What? I don't know. Film Gold. One Piece be doing some crazy ass shit. It's putting in One Piece. I thought right I would there. hate One Piece, but then when I watched a couple episodes, I realized it was way doper than what I thought. It's awesome as fuck. Buddy's just trying to be the best pirate in the world. What's wrong with that? I guess there's nothing wrong with that. He's whooping ass and taking names. And I'm taking glad they them. made Dragon Ball Super because GT just wasn't where it was at. I mean, it was a good concept as far as the Super Saiyan 4 thing. It was just actually a dope little suit, but other than that... Super like, Saiyan 4 was the only good part about that shit. Yeah, GT was garbage. Yeah, for the most part. But that little fucking Super Saiyan 4 H suit shit was dope as fuck. There's some crazy shit going on over there. I'm not going to go look at what it is. Oh, shit. Have you seen this? Onbox? Yes, I've seen all the Onbox, oh bro. Oh, my God. Bro. Remember how Tony it used to be John. I could talk shit to you about Onbox? I knew it was a good movie, but I'm like, hey, he's just trying to fucking save a fucking <laughs> elephant. <laughs> elephant. And that I argued with you about this shit for hours about how it sucked, even though I knew it was good. But it was like, I was already on a roll. So I was like, wait. That's ten dollars for this box set. Oh shit, that's worth it, bro. It's ten dollars. They are sleeping look, on this Tony Jaa. These are actually Blu-rays too. They're sleeping. And look at the little box that comes in. This is fucking worth that's it. That's worth it. $10. Like y'all need to go pick this up. I'm not picking it up right now because I already shit. spent like a hundred dollars on toys. Sixteen ninety six to get like four fucking. Well, nah, they got one, <laughs> nah, never mind. Never they mind. got Hitman 3 never and mind, y'all. PSI. False alarm. <laughs> it's one of those false Walmart yeah, alarms. Yeah, it seemed like it was about to be an Hitman Chronicles. Yeah. It's like, hey, here's some... the least liked Hitman and a yes. bunch of other shit that Donnie Yen is in for 40 seconds. Yeah, that shit fucking sucks. Growing up, I would always get suckered into getting movies thinking it's a Jackie Chan movie, but really Jackie Chan is just like in the background. Mm -hmm. Or like Bruce Lee's just like... A stunt double. And why did every Jackie Chan movie magically just end up on one DVD of him and it'd be like him for 16 seconds and it'd be seven fucking movies on there? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They bait you in with a Jackie Chan face. This Can is a wrestling? dope slip cover. I guess you can't, it doesn't transfer to video as well as like real life, but it's like 3D ish. See, this should be blowing my mind when they bring out old shit like Speed Racer and then they make it look like this. And I'm like, no, bro, that is not how Speed Racer fucking look. Let's be honest. I never watched Speed Racer too much. It was not like. You don't want to. It's not like it was bad, but it just wasn't my shit. It's too much racing, not enough fucking punching people. Yeah, but what you people must understand is we're in Walmart. It's a very limited selection of what we can actually look at on Blu-ray and DVD. This is Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee action-packed 19 movies. Now go look on the for back. For 750. Look on the oh back. Oh my How do you god! <laughs> The Fist of Bruce movie? Lee, Chinese Hercules. This is exactly what we were talking about. The real blue Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, we miss you. The image of Bruce Lee, blind fist, blind fist of Bruce. Like, what the hell is this? Nigga, these aren't even none of the ones we know. Bruce Lee fights back from the grave. <laughs> oh my God. Look, bro, a martial artist and... A martial arts instructor embarks upon a quest to avenge Bruce Lee's untimely death and comes face to face with the force behind his friend's demise. Bruh, this shit is so fake. Laser mission? 
they're trying to say there's over 27 hours of Bruce Lee ass kicking. Look, there's no Bruce Lee in any of these movies. They just put Bruce, Bruce Lee in the title. Dragon Lee versus the Five Brothers. God, man. <laughs> this is exactly what we were just talking about. And there it is in the oh, flesh. God. This. That was the worst one. This oh, is a fuck. classic, This is a bro. classic. This is my fucking fave. Disney movie. Everybody might fucking hate me for. Well, it's not my favorite. Remember one that dude, Hercules man. I think he vo voiced line? by Polly, not Powerline. Hey, there's this dude that was at D23 that had a super dope Powerline motherfucking cosplay, bro. He looked for just real? like him. But I was talking about Polly Shore's guy that always ate cheese with. Oh yeah, it's the leading tower of cheese. Ow! Yeah, that guy. He's a beast, man. But I'm trying to figure out what. Um, Powerline fucking, uh, Tevin Campbell, or was he fucking, um, who fucking knows, Bobby bro? Brown, man, I think he was like a mix of both of them. I have no idea who the fuck he was, yeah, he was wrong. I think he was Tevin Campbell, though. I -A -A. Well, we're about to get the fuck out of here, and we'll hopefully we'll pop up in another DVD Blu-ray section of some other sort at some point in time soon. Catch you there. Alright, I'm over here at Best Buy. They have the Ghost in the Shell still book. I've yet to see this movie. I don't even know if I'm gonna pick it up. She know I'm a sucker for still books, so I'll probably wind up going home with it. I mean, I've heard a few things about this movie. I definitely haven't heard that it's an instant classic. Are classic in the making, like they refer to it in the back of this. Haven't heard that at all. They got this Hellboy still book for $9.99, which is pretty dope. I always like the Hellboy movies, so I thought they were really good. I mean, look at all these still books. They got 300 Angels and Demons, Batman Returns, Batman Begins, Dark Knight, Da Vinci Code. Django, Expendables, Independence Day, Insurgent, The Hunger Games, Home Alone, The Gods of Egypt, Expendables, Team 3, The New Independence Day, Kingsman, All the Lord of the Rings, Martian, Top Gun, this is Space Jam still up? Oh man, Space Jam. the apes they have like a buy one get one free section that has like the great wall 50 shades darker split kubo they actually got some pretty good titles over here i think i'm gonna actually <clears throat> get a few blu-rays from this buy one get one free section i might actually get the wall i'm not sure yet but definitely going to get something from over here I haven't seen Split yet, so that should probably be my first pickup. All right, so I'm finally out of Best Buy. Y'all already know how I feel awkward filming in there because the employees swarm around you like a vulture to a dead rodent on the animal. I mean, not on the animal, <laughs> but like a dead animal on the road, basically. But they gave me hell in there, man. Now y'all remember, just a few seconds ago, I showed y'all that they had a buy one get one free deal and split was $12.99 and the Great Wall was $12.99 and it's buy one get one free. So I went to check out and what they tried to tell me was, oh, $12.99 is already the price off. So really they're $24.99 a piece. But when you buy two, they're $12.99. And I'm like, no, that makes no fucking sense. Why why would it be up here priced at $12.99 and say buy one, get one free, and then the other one you don't do you have to pay $12.99 for as well? Nowhere does it say, oh, this is a $24.99 movie on sale for $12.99 because you buy one, get one free. So if you just buy one, you get half off. But if you buy two, it's like you got one free. Nowhere fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> nowhere there did it say that at all 
So I made them get the manager, and the manager was like, yeah, that sounds stupid as fuck. So, needless to say, for $12.99, not $24.99, you know, not $25, not $26, but for $13, I walked out with the Great Wall on Blu-ray, as you can see right here. Now, I've heard... I haven't heard good reviews on this movie, but it's called The Great Wall, so I was interested in seeing it, and it was free, so what the hell, figured I would get it, so I got The Great Wall, and I got Split. Now, I've heard amazing things about Split. I've yet to watch it. It was one of the movies that I honestly thought I would never see, but everybody keeps bragging about how good this movie was and how like big of a twist that you get and that it's just so great, this, that, and the third. So I figured, you know what? I need to watch it. I can't just like not ever see it. So I got split in the Great Wall right there for $12.99. Not $12.99 each, but $12.99 for both. Buy one, get one free. I didn't let them try to fucking shit me over there at Best Buy. And I also came out with the Ghost in a Shell still book. Now, this looks like a super dope still book. I haven't heard really many great things about the movie, but I figured what the hell it's worth to watch. A couple of my friends actually liked it. I just think it's probably gonna be worth the watch regardless. Now, usually, here in like my Blu-ray or still book hunting videos, I usually will, you know, sit here and talk to you guys about what I thought about the film and this, that, and a third. But I honestly have not seen none of the three movies that I picked up today. I have not ever seen them at all. I have yet to see spoilers for them as well. I try to stay away from spoilers. So don't spoil nothing for me in the comment section below because I'll probably be uploading this video before I actually ever get a chance to watch these movies. So don't you spoil anything, motherfuckers. But anyway, yeah, as I was saying, usually I would be sitting here talking to you about what I thought about this movie and that movie, you know, how good or how bad it was, what I thought about the casting choices or the acting abilities by the actors and actresses in the movie, what I thought about the CGI, what I thought about the story, all that, you know, all that good stuff. But this time I can't around, this time around I can't do that because I have yet to see any of these three films. And I'm excited to see at least two of them. I can say that I'm kind of excited to see Ghost in a Shell. If anything, just for the visual aspect of it all. And, you know, I just I don't know. It'd probably be okay. Plus, I'm not, like, super big on the anime. So, I'm not going to nitpick it. You know, like I would other things that I'm already familiar with where they come from. Um, and I can't say that I'm really excited to see Split. Because, like I said, there's nothing but good things coming out about this movie. M. Night Shyamalan, you know, you can say what you want about him as a director. He always leaves you hanging and leaves you thinking even after the movie. Regardless if you like the movie or not, nine times out of ten, when you walk out after seeing the M. Night Shyamalan movie, you're kind of like mind blown, just a little bit at least. But... Blu-rays is not all I picked up at, over there at um, Best Buy. Now, you toy collectors and comic book collectors, like me, that's what I usually do. I just go on Blu-ray hunt sometimes. You guys might be happy about this. For $12.99. $12.99. All the way down from $64.99. I got this awesome awesome little marvel statue now you comic book readers slash collectors out there you may have heard of a little artist called scotty young he draws marvel characters and basically he makes them like little chibis like little kid versions of the characters you know it's hard for me to explain but it's like chibis i don't even know if y'all know what chibis are 
but he basically draws kind of like kiddie versions of Marvel characters and I always love his artwork I always love his comic books and I've been looking at his little statues for a long time but seeing as how I spend my money on such a vi wide variety of things I was never able to bring myself to buy one of his statues because they're usually like upwards of you know between 65 and 100 bucks but for $12.99 at Best Buy BAM you see that? Do y'all fucking see that, YouTube? Do you fucking see this? For $64.99. The wait was a long wait. I didn't even know they had these at Best Buy. I look at these little statues in my comic book shops and think geek and stuff like that. And I always want to buy them. And I was super close to going ahead and shelling out 75 bucks. But wait, $12.99, I got Scotty Young Iron Man statue. Now this is fucking dope. You toy collectors out there, most of my fucking subscribers are toy collectors. Y'all know what it means to get a statue, especially for something cheap like, you know, 13 fucking bucks. And I don't know, I'm super ecstatic about it. I'm so glad I decided to go to Best Buy. Um, I actually was going to Best Buy just to make this video for you guys, I wasn't even sure that I was gonna get Ghost in a Shell on Blu-ray. I was like, you know, I was on the, <coughs> I was on the fence about it. And honestly, when I woke up this morning, I wasn't even gonna go get it. But I was, once I got there and I saw how the steelbook looked, I was like, well, if anything else, the steelbook is pretty dope, and it is $21.99. Um, I guess I'm gonna fucking get it. Plus, unlike a lot of people on YouTube, and I talk about this all the time, and it's no offense towards anybody at all, but I watch a lot of Blu-ray hunters, I watch a lot of toy hunters, and they go out on these Blu-ray hunts, and these toy hunts, and they never buy anything. And it's almost like, well, did you take us Blu-ray hunting, or did you take us window shopping? Because, I mean, it doesn't make a difference to the viewers, I guess, if you buy something or not. It's not like they get it. But, I don't know. It's something about, like, hey, once you take me on a Blu-ray hunt and then show me that you actually pick stuff up, I kind of live through you somewhat. You know what I'm saying? It's always good to watch these hunts and see that people actually pick up stuff instead of, like, y'all are just going out here recording stuff for no reason. And I don't ever want to be one of those people. And I'm not saying that's what pressured me into buying any of this stuff. No way. It was the fact that I found a fucking super good fucking deal on the statue. I found a good deal of buy one, get one free on the other Blu-rays. And I'm a sucker for still books. So I decided to get the shit. I said fuck it. I winded up spending like, like $60 in there but I felt like I came out pretty good. I got Split, The Great Wall, and The Ghost in the Shell still book, all for the price of this one statue. And I got the statue, so I think I came out pretty good. But right now I'm about to go in here in the post office, send off a couple packages to people. So I hope you have a good day, YouTube. As always, be sure to like, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Always stay tuned for more Blu-ray and toy hunting videos, as well as movie reviews and toy reviews. But as always, you have a good day, YouTube.